Hello everybody. Today is a fantastic day because I learned a new word and that new word is caboodle. Now a caboodle is basically a fancy tackle box but for makeup and a tackle box is a fancy box for fishing equipment. Artists sometimes use tackle boxes for little art supplies and paints and brushes etc. But a caboodle is for makeup, so I'm trying to save my sister a little bit of money by making one out of cardboard. So this is the workspace of a madman with a goal. Um, <laughs> the goal of a caboodle. So, so far this is the sketch, roughly the sketch page of what we're thinking. This is kind of the example I have of the caboodle with the drawers that come out of the main compartment and then it has to close and this one has to be less than five and a half inches tall so that it can fit in a drawer my sister has so some ideas we've had so far have velcro that like stick to the sides with little braces so that it can stand up um and then i've been working on but this is how they did the caboodle like in there that's how they made that stand up so right now I'm working on um, dividers for all the nail polish for a compartment to store all the nail polish because I think that's what this is mainly for. And then this compartment will be able to sit in this box, which is going to probably be painted eventually. And then there can be different compartment things in here and then it'll sit and we'll, we'll see how it goes. Whoa. Okay. So this video editing app is very handy because I can just do a voiceover straight into it. So this is the first ever time lapse I've done. Um, very shortly, you'll see how I've held the phone there and it's very fun. But yeah, this is just me cutting all the strips for a um, grid organizer for all the nail polish bits. And yeah, so they just slot together by doing half and half, and then you kind of just push the long and the short ones together, and yeah, that's that's pretty much it. While this may not be the most secure way to hold a phone <laughs> during a time lapse, I, it worked. So, like, go you. It's finished! <laughs> so here's what I ended up with. We got... What appears to be your regular shoebox, this one actually went all the way down to the end, so I cut it a couple inches. Um, but now you open it, boom, we got the nice little grid for all the nail polishes. You can d color coordinate, etc. When she gets more, she's got plenty of space. And then that slides right into the lid. Aww even if it's like just on the ground. And then she's got the organizers for the brushes and whatever you use for the nail. This'll be, this'll have her nails. She get, just got this today. It fits right in there. And then just the various other things. So yeah, there's my attempt at a caboodle and then she can paint it however she's like. I'm, the painting, painting is, painting is too much work. So we're just gonna, yeah, there we go. Caboodle. So yeah, there's the caboodle. If you want to make your own caboodle, all you really need is a shoebox and some cardboard from Amazon, Walmart, whatever you get your cardboard boxes from. Cut them into strips. I used my handy dandy paper cutter, guillotine paper cutter to cut them, but you can of course use scissors or your craft knife with some rulers for guidance. And then you just slot those in there, however fits around your own, whatever you need in your caboodle. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this a little bit and stay creative. Bye-bye.